Hi guys, so today is field day. I know that y'all have been either working really hard outside or maybe you're just about to go outside and enjoy some of the activities that we have planned today. But I thought that I would give you guys an activity to do that is fun while you're in the classroom. So obviously I'm not there in the classroom with you, but we're gonna show your teachers how we do some artful thinking. So go ahead and turn on your art investigator goggles Take a close look at this painting and I want you to quietly look for 10 seconds. I will count. I want you to show your in art investigator goggles and look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, if you want to, we can pause the video and talk about the painting and what we see or continue on and we'll talk about the project. So in this painting, we see a couple foxes, but what I wanted you to notice is that there's these bright, intense colors, and then these diagonal, vertical, horizontal lines all over it. It really splits up the piece into different parts. Today, we'll be using a little bit of pattern. So answer this question out loud for me. Could pattern be color? I hope you said yes. Could pattern be shapes? I hope you said yes. Could pattern be line? I hope you said yes. Could pattern be letters or numbers? Absolutely. Now, could a pattern be just one thing? I hope you said no, because a pattern needs to repeat. There needs to be more than one for it to be a pattern. Today we're going to do a very easy art project together on field day that talks about pattern. All you'll need for this project is a piece of paper. It could be a piece of paper that was a quiz or some homework and you could reuse it or it could be a fresh piece of copy paper. Whatever you have available in the classroom or what your teacher can provide will work. I'm also gonna need um, some art supplies, but this is just what I had nearby. I have some colored pencils, I have some markers, and I have some crayons that I can use. But whatever you have in the classroom will work fine. Now remember, when we looked at the painting, we noticed that it was split up into different areas and sections by lines. So we're gonna use that idea today to create some art. Now, one thing I could do is I could draw lines on the paper and split it up into different sections, but let's try to think of an innovative or new way that we can create lines on the paper. Now, sometimes in art class we have to fold paper. Sometimes we fold it hamburger style. Sometimes we fold it down like a hot dog. Today you're going to be folding the paper, but I want you to fold it in a new way. So we're gonna make three or more folds on the paper to make lines. I'll show you how. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one side of the paper and fold it over in a new way. So I just kind of folded it crazy style. Don't fold it like a hamburger or a cheeseburger. Fold it in a totally new way. Now I'm gonna fold it for the second time. I'm going to bring it over and again, it's looking a little bit crazy. That's all right. Now I'm gonna fold one more time. I think I'll fold down this time. So you should have something that might look like this. Now what you're gonna do is unfold the paper. We want it back how we started. And what you'll notice is that the, there are these smaller lines all over the paper. We're gonna use these lines to create our art today. One thing you may want to do if you had a thicker paper like me is kind of take your hands and massage out the paper so that you have a flat surface to work with. Once you've done that, you can take whatever you're going to use to make the art. I'm going to use a marker along with some other materials, but remember you might be using a pencil or something else in your classroom. I'm going to trace over these lines that I found on the paper. What this will do is this will split the paper up into smaller sections where we can add some pattern later on. I went ahead and I traced over all the lines that I made. What's cool about this project is that every single one of these will look totally different. 
Now it's time for me to add pattern to these sections and make it a little bit more interesting. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your art materials to add different patterns to your art. So remember, it can be line, it can be color, it can be shape. Be creative. I know you may not have the art materials I'm using, but I'm sure you can find something that will work in the classroom. Please be creative and try your hardest to think of those patterns. Now I'm gonna use another material. I'm gonna use my crayons and give it some color, baby color. So here I go, I'm coloring away. I would love to see your completed art sometime this week. You could even bring it to class and show me. I'm excited to see what you make. All right, and then I know that sometimes it can be hard to remember all of the line types that we've learned this year at Christie. So I'm gonna go ahead and include this picture of all your line types. Teachers, if you'd like to keep these line types on the screen, just go ahead and pause this video. Alrighty guys, I hope that y'all have an amazing field day. I'm excited to see you, and I hope that you find this activity fun and relaxing.